There they go, off and pacing, far outside. Gigolo's pride fires out of there in between pacers. That's Chevalier Similu. Put the cherry on top from the cone. Stacks them up wide round the turn. Put the cherry on top on the inside. Has the lead, wants the lead. Gigolo's pride on the outside. Firing's looking for the front. Gigolo's pride and Todd Trites on the far outside. Fire to the lead. Put the cherry on top. Grab leather now. We'll sit in the pocket. Chevalier Similu studies things from third. Grin's little flirt can see them all, but she's only three. Three and a half back by the opening quarter. 28 and two, Gigolo's pride laid down the law here early. And he, she's the leader, but she's under attack now. Chevalier Similu was third, now second. Chevalier Similu and Spence with a rush and a brush. They look to take over as the horses come in front of the fans first time around. New leader, that's Chevalier Similu and Spence. They're clear now, halfway home. He'll now tap the brakes in front of the fans first time around. Chevalier Similu is there. She was halfway home. He was was halfway home 59 and 3 Chevalier Similu on top Grin's little flirt on the outsides now under attack she's up to the leader's wheel only four in it but they're going at it as they roll by five eights Chevalier Similu on the inside Grin's little flirt taking it to him on the outside Gigolo's pride stung them early and she's still right there in third put the cherry on top is fourth everybody's still in it as they head on to three quarters Chevalier Similu opens up a length and a half, three quarters on the board, 130 flat. Chevalier Semelu still clear. Grin's little flirt on the outside, second. Gigolo's pride's got something to say yet in third. Put the cherry on top as fourth. The field hits the top of the stretch. Chevalier Semelu turns them on home. Grin's, Grin's little flirt on the outside. Gigolo's pride on the inside, but Chevalier Semelu was toying with them. He just left them behind. Chevalier Semelu, an easy winner here in the opener for. Spence. Close for second. Grin's little flirt nails Gigolo's pride at the line. Time for the mile. 202 and 3. Chevalier Semelou.
There they go, off and pacing center of the gate. Good Friday threes, firing out of there. Jamantha from the center into the turn. Good Friday three sets up shop on the front. Jamantha left hard, got away second. KD overdrive from the cones. Spots them in third. Magical Alex will save his bullets for late. He sits at the back as they go on route to the opening quarter. They're chasing the six-year-old son of Mach 3. That's Good Friday 3 and Todd Trites. They're clear by 3 on route to the opening quarter. Good Friday 3 is there. 28 seconds, or sorry, 28 and 3 by the opening quarter. Good Friday 3 has command of the racetrack. Jamantha second starts to tighten in. KD Overdrive is third. Magical Alex is fourth, and he can see them all as the horses come in front of the fans the first time around. It is Good Friday, three on top. Right there, second. That's Jamantha. I'm dealing with a hornet here in the announcer's booth. They're halfway home and 59 and 3. The Hornets dead and Good Friday 3 is on top by 2. Second is Jamant. The third KD Overdrive. Magical Alex is fourth as they roll by the 5 8 Good Friday 3. He's looking strong as he straightens up down the backside. Jamant tries to track him down in second. KD Overdrive just left the cones from third for Mason. The race is on. On to the three quarters. They good. Good Friday 3 by a length. KD Overdrive on the outside. Second three quarters on the board 128 and four good friday three still by two center of the track kd overdrive jamantha still there in third magical alex is going to wind up from fourth they're all still in at top of the stretch but good friday three he's got a head start top of the lane good friday three turns them on home center of the track that's jamantha kd overdrive still coming magical alex on the scene late but good friday three and trites this could be the driving title here folks good friday three and todd trites on the line second went to KD overdrive close for third I'll call magical Alex time for the mile two minutes flat good Friday three <laughs> Off and pacing, great start, fire outside, bold arrows firing out of there, Mora Mappo in between pacers, into the turn, Mora Mappo, center of the racetrack, bold arrows firing on the outside, these two into the first turn, bold arrow from the far outside, wants the front, he's now got to the lead, then Mora Mappo got away second, Kokin Johnny T is on to third. Kendall Courageous is fourth, and Better Flyboy didn't negotiate the turn well. He will see them all as they go on route to the opening quarter. That's Bold Arrow and Spence. They set up shop on the front end. 29 and 3 by the opening quarter. Bold Arrow on top. Morum up right there, second. Kokin Johnny T sees things from third. Kendall Courageous has fourth. Better Flyboy tightens in. He trails at the back as the horses come in front of the fans first time around. They're all chasing the 10-year-old son of life sign. That's Bold Arrow and Dale Spence. Their lead is now out to about three lengths. Moramapos tries to stay with him in second. Coke and Johnny T third. Halfway home, 102 flat. It is Bold Arrow in command of the racetrack. He's got a three-length lead. And he's doing it pretty easy, I must say, as they roll by 5 8 It's Bold Arrow on top. Moramapo second. Coke and Johnny T's off the cones from third. He now takes over second. Kendall Courageous will follow him as Moramapo drops anchor on route to three quarters. Bold Arrow opens up by four. Coke and Johnny T is on to second. Three quarters on the board. 131 and through four 29 and three in the third bold arrows lead is down to two lengths coke and johnny t's reeling them in in second then on to third that's kendall courageous top of the stretch bold arrows got company coke and johnny t's on the outside and coming to him bold arrow inside coke and johnny t's coming on but bold arrow is strong for spence bold arrow at the line coke and johnny t second Kendall Courageous was third, battles for fourth. That goes to Mora Mapo. Time for the mile, two, three, flat. Bold Arrow and Spence take race four. There they go, off and pacing. 
leaving, everybody's leaving. Far outside, Goliath reigns in between pacers. Casimir Nunzio, Bugger Max from the rail, stacks them up wide into the turn. Bugger Max on the inside as the pylons, he wants the front. Goliath reigns on the outside, not backing off. These two hook up early out of the turn. We got a battle brewing on route to the opening quarter. That's Goliath reigns and Todd Trites on the outside. Bugger Max on the inside. He didn't want to let him go, but he'll grab leather now and take the trip on route to the opening quarter. Goliath reigns on the outside. 28 seconds flat, the price paid to be the leader. And Goliath reigns shows the way right there, second, Bugger Max. Casimir Nunzio is third, ultimately Handsome was fourth, now third, he's underway on the outside as the horses come in front of the fans. Trites tries to tap the brakes with Goliath Reigns, but he won't get much of a breather because ultimately Handsome's underway and he's up to look the leader in the eye. Halfway home, it's Goliath Reigns inside, ultimately Handsome on the outside. They were halfway home, 58 and four, serious opening half mile for Goliath Reigns. He looks for the clean sweep here in September. On the outside, that is ultimately handsome hitting hard in second. Bugger Max on the cones third. Casimir Nunzio is fourth, but he eyes the outside as they head to three quarters. Goliath Reigns still the boss. His lead is out to two lengths. Ultimately handsome on the outside second. Three quarters is up. 128 flat. Goliath Reigns has got them by two. Ultimately, Handsome's trying to track him down in second. Casimir Nunzio on the outside, battling for third with Bugger Max. They come to the top of the stretch. Goliath Reigns turns them on home for Trites. Ultimately, Handsome's trying to track him down in second. Goliath Reigns, though, he is undefeated in September. A September Grand Slam here at Exhibition Park for Todd Trites and Goliath Reigns. They hit the wire 159 and two. Goliath Reigns here in race number five. There they go, off and pacing. Beach Fighter A followed the gate out of there. He's the leader into the first turn. Ultimate Flying Nun leaving well today. She's second into the turn. Skippy from the Cones got away in third. That means Stonebridge Grand can see them all, but he's only three and a half back as they come out of the turn. They're all chasing the 14-year-old son of Jenna's Beach Boy. That's Beach Fighter A in his last year of racing. He is clear on the lead here in his last start at Exhibition Park. He's the leader on route to the opening quarter. Beach Fighter was there, 29 seconds flat. Todd Trites has got him right where he wants him. He's on the front end, right there second. That's Ultimate Flying Nun. Skippy holds down third, fourth, Stonebridge Grand. Nobody moving yet. Trites taps the brakes on the old horse. Beach Fighter A in front of the fans first time around. Ultimate Flying Nun right on the leader's back in second. Skippy looks sharp today. He's third. Stonebridge Grand bides his time from fourth, second, first, same as the first, halfway home. It's still Beach Fighter and Todd Trites. They were there a minute and three fifths. Beach Fighter A shows the way. Right there, second. That's Ultimate flying none. Skippy is third. Stonebridge Grant is fourth. They went by five eights. The wheel disc is now in play. Beach Fighter by a length. Second on, here comes Ultimate Flying Nun. Skippy's got a tap on the tail from third. Stonebridge Grand fourth. The pace is quickened on to three quarters. Beach Fighter A putting on a show. One thirty flat by three quarters. Ultimate Flying Nun's got him in his sights in second. Skippy third. Stonebridge Grand just left the cones in fourth. It's a battle at the top of the stretch. Beach Fighter A shows the way home. Ultimate Flying Nun on the outside's coming on second. It's Beach Fighter on the inside. Ultimate Flying Nun, center of the track for Scotty Hubbard. Beach Fighter, Ultimate Flying Nun in the final strides. Gets up for Scotty Hubbard. Beach Fighter was second, third goes to Stonebridge Grand. Time for the mile. Two minutes, one-fifth, Ultimate Flying Nun. Thank <laughs> you.